Hi, welcome back to the Leadership Help Desk where we're still working on our small business series uh, with small business marketing. Um, if you're new to this channel, I've got a playlist with all of these marketing concepts that you can go to and watch in order, take notes. If you're planning on starting a small business, these are all great concepts. And you're going to see with this video and other videos how all these concepts tie in together. I'm not trying to send you into a, a state of uh, analysis paralysis, but we do need to think about what we're doing before we start a business. It's also a good idea to have several ideas, uh, and you might have a great idea at first. I know, it happens, it happens. Uh, but sometimes we're not too sure. We might need to have several ideas and run them through all the concepts to see what makes the most sense. And this is a good one. <clears throat> uh, and will you be committed? Uh, you know, if we start out with shaky thoughts, uh, we're not confident, uh, we don't have any proof that our idea will work, will we see it through? That's a big one. And this concept here will help you a lot with that. The concept, <clears throat> very simple. RWW. Is it real? Real for R, when, and worth it. Is it real? With your business idea, we have to go through the marketing process of hopefully doing some research, but we have to think through the eyes of the customer and see, think about it. Is there a real need or desire for this product or service? How can we get proof on that? Can we poll, some, poll the audience? Uh, not people close to you because they will lie and cost you a fortune in the beginning, in the end. Uh, who is the target market and what is their situation? How does your product or service fit into their situation? Is this a real idea or just something that's, you know, you popped into your head and you've been thinking about it, now you're attached to it and you're not being in reality? Uh, is the, the idea real? Now, can they purchase it? This goes back to the four C's. People have budgets. Not everybody. Some people can have anything they want. But a lot of people uh, have budgets. And we have to consider not only the price. Can, can they purchase it at the price? But what is the cost to the consumer? They have other priorities. They have disposable income. And they, you know, what are they going to do with it? Well, they have priorities. Is this a priority? Is it real? Is the target market large enough? Now, you might be doing a product for a mass market, or it could bleed over a lot, and it's, you know, like a, a candy bar is targeted maybe for one person, but other people uh, buy it too. But we look at our target market, the people who would benefit the most from our market offering go back and see the market offering video go back and see the four p's and the four c's video is the target market large enough if you're going to make uh cowboy belts or something how many cowboys are in your your area you know how many people would want that is the target market large enough and in the end will it be a priority and will they buy now is it real? Is it real? Next up is can we win? That's where the commitment part comes from. Can you pull it off? Can you see the product through? Can you produce it? Will you last out there if you're doing a service? A lot of people don't think about this. I, you know, I was in landscaping for a while. You, you know, yard maintenance and mulching, trimming trees shrubs, gutters, roofs, um, pea gravel, uh, gardens, all that kind of stuff. And when I was going through, mar uh, you know, mocking up my small business, man, it's called creep, it's called scope creep, where you say, I can work, I can do this job for $40, and I can do it in an hour. 
and that means I can do the next one for 40 bucks in an hour and I can do the next one in 40 for 40 bucks in an hour therefore if I work eight hours a day nine hours ten hours a day I'll make this amount of money but little did I know that oh you might can do the first one in an hour but the second one you got to drive to and then you know on that one uh, the customer is what wants to build a relationship and we're going to talk for 20 minutes and then the heat comes on <laughs> and oh man you know can you do it before you commit you know visualize yourself being the perfect self-employed person can you do it and in the case of uh, cowboy belts or whatever can you make one uh, what will be your competitive advantage now I've done a video on competitive advantage and I've done a video on market the market offering uh, what is your competitive advantage will it be in the product will it be in the service or the combination of both of those and add a third one your personality and your personal values all of this can equal a competitive advantage but we have to ask ourselves how long will the competitive advantage last will it be sustainable how long will we last if we do make cowboy boots and somebody else comes up and says our cowboy belts uh, where do these eyes come, ideas come from um, how long will our competitive advantage last until somebody else sees what we're doing and they say oh I can do it too so the competitive advantage question is crucial do you have anything uh, over the competition with your product or service or personality uh, is there a secret is there a costly machine is there a method that nobody knows about is there is it difficult right that's another one uh, you, you watch the show with uh, uh, Mike Rowe dirty jobs maybe nobody's willing to do it that could be a competitive advantage but what what are you doing that's special that can't be copied and how will the competition respond if you are a similar product you're in the red ocean you're a little bit different how are they gonna react to your product let's say you do the burrito a burrito at the uh, you know next to a college like I mentioned in the previous video uh, and you know you've got a special something in your burrito uh, you make your own beans uh, that's maybe cheaper or more expensive uh, you've got a great flour tortilla but the competition can send somebody over and buy the you know buy a bunch of burritos and we'll reverse engineer them and we'll go wait a second is that cumin no that's smoked paprika mmm Okay, check the is it juicy oh it's it's kind of dry okay maybe people like dry burrito what about the tortilla let me see hmm it seems fluffier than ours how do we how to make tortillas fluffier you know what will the competition do once you reach the market so next is it worth it will it be profitable what are the risks in the case of a burrito are you going to do a kiosk with a gas stove of some sort uh, or are you going to do a, a food truck which is not cheap what are the risks what are you going to sink into this and will you get the benefit out of it what's the cost benefit also important very important because we're so motivated on day one what is the effort level and again what is the investment level is it worth it and at what point will we achieve some kind of momentum it might be day one I don't know so ask yourself in your life in your life stage with possibly a family possibly other obligations is a, this whole thing is it worth it and that's critical that is critical because you get it all started up and then you find out damn this ain't worth it man so great questions to analyze your small business startup looking at the market uh, 
just looking at everything. And if you, you might analyze one idea and go, oh, you know, not so sure. Analyze the next one, you go, you know what, that one's much better. Analyze the third one. You know what, I think this is the best shot we got. So look at all of that, analyze your business. It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of grief in the future, and it will help you also to shape uh, what you want to offer. Now, man, this, this, as I mentioned, this ties back to the four P's and the four C's, our market segmentation, our target market. Uh, will they buy? Can they afford it? What is our uh, target costing? See that video. Uh, value analysis. See that video. We're going to do costing videos in the future. Uh, the competitive advantage, the sources of the competitive advantage, the market offering <laughs> video, uh, just a lot going on here. And it's good for you and it will save you from failure in the future. Or I shouldn't say that, it will minimize failure in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And <clears throat> if you're a marketing student, a uh, small business person, please subscribe. We got a lot of videos that will be very helpful for your startup or your small business analysis. And uh, there's a playlist. Again, there's a playlist for the this section, small business marketing, under marketing. You'll see all the concepts. <clears throat> it's almost like you've had marketing 101. So there we go. Hope you benefit from it and hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you later.